that time of year. Oh my gosh. Hello everybody. It's that time of year. We are live in the backyard with lunch with Leslie today. We are making some burgers that are going to be amazing for the holiday weekend that's coming up very soon, just around the corner. Memorial Day is happening like in six days. <laughs> and so I wanted to show you guys a recipe today that is so amazing. You are going to love, love, love. And I don't cook with meat very often. And so this, thank you, I love my backyard. Um, so this is a real treat here. Um, we are live in two places today. We are live up top here um, at Periscope. Um, and we're live down below here on the Valley Fig Growers page because they are actually part of this cook today. We're actually stuffing a burger with figs today. I cannot wait to show you how to do this. You do not need fancy tools, FYI. So, <laughs> so we are in the backyard. The grill is getting hot uh, and we are going to have a great episode of Lunch with Leslie today. So thank you so much for joining me. You guys that are watching on Facebook, please forgive me. I do see your comments just fine, but because we are dual streaming right now here live on the Valley Fig page and up top right above this camera uh, on Periscope, I will be looking at that camera camera as well. So please forgive the shift of the eyes as I go back and forth. I will tell you on Periscope that the comments go really fast. And so, hi, it's good to see you guys. Um, and so the comments go really fast. So if you see me shifting, that's what's going on because I have two cameras stacked on top of one another. So just so you know that, just a disclaimer. <laughs> so hello, let me say hello to a couple of people here on, uh, on Periscope because it's good to see you guys. It's Tuesday. It's like our Monday here on Lunch with Leslie. This is our first broadcasting day of the week. So let me say hi to a couple of people. Dina D is here. Dina D, thank you so much for being here. Hello. Hi, it's good to see you. Who else? Cody. Hi, Cody. I don't know some of you, so I'm sorry I don't know your username. Uh, Hobbit Brain is here. Chris is here. <coughs> Thank you, Pam. I know it is a gorgeous day today, so perfect to be in the backyard. Julie is here. Hi, Dusty Stamps is here. Thank you. Hi, Joel. Oh, thank you, Joel. That's very nice of you to say that. I love that you that you enjoyed that scope. All right, so we're going to get right down to it. Let me introduce myself super fast. My name is Leslie Nance. Um, I do this broadcast Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday over on Periscope, and and, um, and my, my website is actually go2kitchens.com and it is all about eating real food. And some of my favorite real food on the planet is, you guessed it, figs. Now, I am like the fig queen. I'm going to make myself the official fig queen at least for this next hour. <laughs> So I love figs and I love working with the Valley Fig Growers because they give me these amazing, and you guys give us these amazing figs. And today we're working with the Mission Figlets. I know these are the Orchard's Choice Mission Figlets. That's what we're working with today. That's what we're going to stuff our burgers with along with some Gorgonzola, which gives us that sweet savory that is so delicious, right? I know it's finally grilling weather. So excited about grilling weather. So Valley Fig is up top with us as well in Periscope. So say hello to them, everybody. Thank you guys for noticing that. So we're going to be working with the uh, Mission Figlets today, um, but they also have these Calamerna figs, which are the lighter color, the golden color figs. Um, you guys see me, I like to bake with these actually. I love baking with the Calamerna figs. And then we have just the regular California Mission figs as well. So three different varieties, plus fig spreads, plus amazing recipes on their website. Go check it out, valleyfig.com. You can buy all of these figs there. Everything that, um, all of these figs that we're using in our cook today, you can buy there. But this is what we're using today. So if you want to screenshot that, there you go, right? If you want to get a good screenshot, you can check it out there. Now then, if you have not already, now is a good time to share out. You can share out on Periscope, on Twitter, and Facebook. Please do that. On Facebook, please share out with your followers. Let's fill this room up and show people how to get some burgers on that grill. So thank you so much for being here. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get our burgers cooking. And so, but before we do that, we need to stuff them. Then how many of you have ever stuffed a burger before? Anybody here stuffed a burger? And second question, second question is, do you own a burger stuffing mechanism? <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a burger stuffing contraption? Just wondering, right? Chris, I, of course you have, Chris. I knew that you had, for sure, for sure, right? 
<laughs> that a cheese. Oh my gosh. That's you stuff it with your hands. There you go. You stuff it in your mouth. <laughs> I love it, Julie. I love it, right? Meatballs with avocados. Oh my gosh. Those stuffed meatballs are amazing. I have to agree with you. Thank you guys for the super hearts. I appreciate that, by the way. Uh, oh, look at that. I love ricotta in a burger. Today we're going to actually use gorgonzola, which is a type of blue cheese. This is a raw milk cheese, which I love that. And we're going to use about a cup. Well, we're not going to use a full cup today, but when you see the recipe on the website, I don't want to waste food. And so we will not eat more than two burger patties. And so, so I didn't want to make four because then they would just get wasted. And so I didn't want to do that, but you're on the recipe on the website. It will be enough for four burgers. And so you're going to need a whole cup of sliced figs. Um, and these are just those little, look how tiny they are, little mission figlets. And you're going to need yourself some gorgonzola cheese. And this is a really easy recipe. So let me show you what I have done ahead of time to prepare to stuff burgers out by the grill. And so I'm going to turn you guys just a little bit if I can. I'm going to turn you just a little bit and I'm going to tilt you down. So mine camera shake. I apologize. We are, we are bootlegging it out here. We're bootstrapping it here. So I'm going to make sure that everybody can see what I'm doing. You're not going to be able to see me very good, but you're going to be able to see what I'm doing very good. And so what I have done is I have just taken, this is just a little table that's attached to my grill and I have just taken and I have covered it with some aluminum foil. And this will actually give me a nice, clean workspace to make my stuffed burgers on, which is where we're going to do it today is right here on this. And so my burger, uh, excuse me, my grill is on actually. It is on a medium heat right now. It is not on a super high heat, but it is pre uh, preheating. And I have to tell you, it's like really hot standing right here. So just saying, uh, <laughs> just saying, just being truthful. All right. So what we have here is that I'm not using beef today. I'm actually using bison. And to work with my bison out by the grill, because I don't have a way to wash my hands uh, after I'm done, I'm actually, I'm actually going to wear just some nice safe gloves here so I can work with the bison and not get my hands all dirty. And this is a great tip, by the way, if you want to work by your grill and you don't have a fancy outdoor kitchen, I do not have one, uh, <laughs> right? Your dog loves bison. That's amazing. I love that, right? <laughs> Not like that do do painting gloves. I know these are just uh, these are just little these are just latex if you're, you can get non latex maybe these aren't latex I don't know anyway these are just little latex gloves you can buy them in bulk in most cooking stores uh, right yeah so it is a rare foil sighting it's true because I don't cook with foil but I do use it for practical things like this to keep it nice and clean while we're making stuffed burgers so the recipe that you'll see online actually calls for a full pound of bison of ground bison um, I'm using half a pound today because I'm gonna make two burgers for our cook and so what we do and this is just half a pound is we're just gonna put it in a bowl just like this Super, super easy. I should have kept one hand clean. This is why I brought out extra gloves. I'll have to tell you, this is why I brought out extra gloves. So, because I knew I was gonna do this. And so we're gonna add some spices to this. We're gonna add some spices, right? <laughs> We're gonna add some spices. I've got two cloves and herbs. Uh, I've got two cloves of garlic in here that we're gonna add to this. Two cloves of garlic, and that's just nicely minced in there. I've got a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna have to do it one-handed here. Got a little bit of cayenne pepper, and we're just gonna add a little bit of heat into the burger. Not a lot. You can see I just used a barely used a dash of the cayenne pepper in there, right? Uh, are we cooking? Or why are you cooking in heels and a dress? Well, I'm not in a dress. I'm in shorts actually, and I hardly ever don't have on heels. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> So, so a little bit of cayenne pepper. Uh-oh, I need both of my hands for my black pepper. I'm going to use my arm. Oh my gosh, I'm serious right now. I'm going to totally use my arm because I don't want to touch my black pepper container. So we just need some black pepper ground up in there. There we go. A little bit of black pepper. A couple of pinches of sea salt. I like big flaky salt when I'm making burgers big, big flaky salt. So good. That's the only thing. Cause there's going to be so many flavors. There are going to be so many flavors in this book, in this burger that you don't need a lot of herbs and spices in this. So the first pepper was cayenne. So black pepper and cayenne. Now I'm going to put on a glove again, a fresh glove. I knew I would do that. And I was like, I better take out extra gloves cause I'm going to goof up. 
I knew that would happen. <laughs> and so we're just gonna take this and work this in the bowl, get everything nice and mixed together. This allows the meat to warm up a little bit as well. When you have, can you guys see the smoke? I'm gonna open this. When you, uh, when you, have, um, when you have a little bit of, uh, when, you, when your meat warms up just a little bit and it's not so cold, it won't constrict as easily. Um, when it hits that hot grill, and that is a hot grill, let me tell you. When it hits the hot grill, it won't constrict as easily, um, and you don't get you don't get tough meat because bison is actually something that is uh, <laughs> bison is actually something that can get tough easily. So you don't want to overwork it first of all, and you certainly you certainly don't want it to be super cold going right to the grill. So I'm just going to take this and divide this in two. This is going to be two burgers. On the smaller side, not huge burgers. These are just on the smaller side. And I'm gonna make two balls and I'm gonna pull off about three quarters, about three quarters of that. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna pull off three quarters and I'm gonna leave a quarter right over here. And this is gonna form the patty, just like that. This is gonna form the patty and we're gonna make a little well because we are gonna stuff this burger. So you don't need a fancy gadget. Don't, that's really hot, so I can't do that. You don't need a fancy gadget to stuff burgers. Don't let anybody talk you into one, because you don't need it. You see how I've made like a little well, right? <laughs> You're hungry already, I love that. You see how I've made a little well in my burger patty here? That is perfect, absolutely perfect. And so we are gonna stuff this with some stuff. <laughs> the first thing that we're gonna do is, uh, Leslie's gonna take off one of her gloves and she's gonna open her cheese. Unless her husband is around somewhere. I don't think he is, right? I am very close to the fire. Okay, I have an extra glove still. I have an extra glove still. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna take and we're gonna stuff our burger. Oh man, I didn't mean to do that either. I'm having a rough time here today. We're <laughs> gonna take some of our gorgonzola cheese. Now this is gonna melt, and so you're gonna be pretty liberal with it. Some of our gorgonzola cheese, just like that, right into, the, right into that. And then we're gonna take our figs. And you're gonna do about, you know, sliced figs, you're gonna do about three tablespoons per burger. And I just like putting them, I don't even mix them together. You don't have to be crazy about mixing the burger. This is gonna give us a sweet, savory impression um, in the burger that is so delicious. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So, so good. All right, and so then on the top of that, totally getting figgy with it. On the top of that, and I'm sorry I'm doing it one-handed here, I'm trying to preserve gloves. <laughs> on top of that, you're just gonna take and you're just gonna put that other piece of meat that you reserved and you're just gonna mash the edges together, just like that. So easy, anybody can do it. It's okay if it's not perfectly like covering, because when it's not perfectly covering, you get this amazing like ooze of cheese out of the burger when it starts to melt, and it is so delicious. Oh my gosh, it is so, so good. All right, I have just the, just for the occasion, I have my, my handy dandy like hand towel here. And so I'm going to put my glove back on and make the other one. <laughs> Me and my gloves, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'll have to take it off again, right? You're loving it? That's awesome. I love that you love it. All right, so here's the lesson again. Make a ball, right? Woo, that smoke. We're going to have to open it up again. Make a ball, pull about a quarter of it off, leaving three quarters of it intact. Make a patty, really easy. Make a nice little patty, make a little well in the patty. This will actually help it cook evenly as well when you have, oh, get it well, well. Oh, those big garlic chunks in there are gonna be so delicious. You're gonna get a beautiful, sweet and savory impression with these burgers. Oh my goodness, so good. So make a little well, do your cheese. I like to add a big fat heap and hopping hospitality of cheese in there. 
your figs right on top of that, about three tablespoons of figs. You guys, this is, this is like the best flavors. I played with it this weekend, just perfecting the recipe. I have, I've had the recipe for a while and I just played with it this weekend grilling and, and grilled for some friends and made them this burger. And I didn't tell them it was that it was stuffed, right? I didn't tell them it was stuffed. And so they, they got to the middle of it and they were like, oh my gosh, what did you put in this burger? They should know me by now that I'm kind of tricky that way, but <laughs> they were like, what did you put in this burger? It is so delicious. It was really, they're really, really good. They are super yummy. And I don't eat a ton of meat. You guys know that I do not eat a ton of meat, but I love this bison. The bison is so good. Oh, look at all of you in here. These are dried figs. I'll show you in just a second. Let me get past this and I promise, I promise, promise, promise when I get the camera back on me uh, that I will, I will answer your questions. So bear with me while we go through this cooking process. All right, so we have our burgers. They are ready, they are stuffed. <laughs> they are stuffed and ready to go on the grill. And so all we do now is we have a nice prepped hot grill. Can I touch them slightly? Then we have a nice hot prepped grill and these just go right down onto the grill. Just like that. Oh yeah. It's gonna start smelling good. It's gonna start smelling good in just a moment. I touch this with my gloves. So medium, medium heat grill, preheated, right? Preheated. They are so delicious. Let me let me turn you guys back up. Hi, hello, it's good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for being here, <laughs> right? Okay, now then, I can look at comments. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. Let me just adjust my cameras so that you're not just getting the, like my chin that you can see all of me. Woo, it is hot. You guys, can you smell? Can you smell the burgers wafting your way? They're wafting your way. <laughs> yes, we are featured. Oh, thank you, Periscope. Thank you so much for the feature. We appreciate that. Right, you've never seen the ingredients covered with meat. Oh my gosh, it's the best way to do it because then when you cut into the burger, you get that, you get that like cheesiness that is so delicious. So, hi, George, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Uh, can you can you smell what the what, you know what Leslie's cooking right maybe you can there are no marshmallows thank you so much chicken on biscuits I appreciate that it's good to have you here thank you hello Rami thank you for being here so we are featured on Periscope right now that's amazing um, did I I put actually I put garlic so we put garlic uh, I'm gonna smell like a burger like the rest of the day uh, <laughs> we put. We put garlic, um, we put a little bit of cayenne pepper, black pepper and salt in there, um, in the meat, and then we stuffed it with gorgonzola. We stuffed it with uh, raw gorgonzola. Thank you, Rami. And with our valley figs, our little figlets, we stuffed it. Oh, I need one of these. I'm pretty much, I think I'm, I may, I need two of these. Guys, I just love figs. <laughs> figs and dark chocolate, like, one of my favorite foods on the planet is figs and dark chocolate. So delicious. So, so delicious, right? Yep, a little bit of heat in there. So you're gonna get that impression of heat with the black pepper and the cayenne, but you're gonna get the sweetness of the figs and the figs kind of melt into the burger. They get, when they get heated like this, they kind of melt into the burger. So it's amazing, amazing flavors. So we have our, um, we are using our sun-made, um, we have the Orchard's Choice, which is the figs that we're using today, and then we have Mission Figs, so, right? <laughs> this is my backyard. We are in my backyard <laughs> right now. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm very blessed with a beautiful backyard. That bush over there, actually, that bush right there will be a huge poppy, um, a huge poppy. They'll be like these big dinner plate poppies. They're gigantic. I'll show you to them. I'll show them to you when they bloom, so. He's great, thank you for asking. All right, so with our burger today, we are doing a bunless burger. I'm just gonna throw some stuff away here. I'm gonna get rid of our, I'm gonna get rid of our aluminum foil. The burgers are on the grill right now, I'll show you, see? They're on the grill right now. 
Um, and so, um, but I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of all my gloves and all that kind of stuff and put the lid back on the gorgonzola and just clean up just a little bit. We're going to top the burgers today. When we flip them, when we flip them, we're actually going to char some green onions on the hot grill. And so I've just taken some green onions. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so um, I've just taken some green onions and just cut them in half and we're going to char these and serve them with the burger. This is a bunless burger today. And so I have chosen some butter lettuce, just little, these beautiful little butter lettuce uh, with the leaves on it. That's going to serve as our bun today. Um, and then we have some little tomatoes that we're going to add with it. So really traditional, really, really traditional um, burger toppings. And then we have our Foco Pickle Company with bread and butter pickles that we're going to serve with this as well. So, so yummy and delicious. Oh, so when you're cooking a burger, don't get flip happy, like especially a stuffed burger. You do not want to be all excited about flipping the burger. <laughs> You want it to cook there for a little while because if you don't, you run the risk of the top just popping right off, first of all, right? <laughs> just the top, just right. I know Texans do love bread and butter pickles. These are made locally, actually, by a company, Foco Pickle Company. They're amazing. Um, so don't get all excited about flipping them like a hundred times. You just need to flip them once, right? Don't flip your lid. You just need to flip them once during the cooking experience, and that's going to be totally fine. It's going to be totally fine for um, for flipping those burgers. Yeah, especially when they're stuffed like this, because you don't want the ingredients to like come flying out of them. So, yes, just let them cook there. They're fine. That's why you do it on a medium heat. You don't do it on a on a high heat. You do it on a medium heat. And let me mention that I'm using bison today, but you can also use lamb. You could use ground lamb, you could use ground chicken, you could use ground turkey. Um, you can, um, I mean, you could probably stuff a black bean burger if you wanted to. You could probably go that far with it. I don't know, I've never done it. Oh, and by the way, black bean burgers do not work on the grill. I tried it this weekend, did not work. Don't ground up Bigfoot, he's the only one we got. Uh, <laughs> So, but yes, um, but you can use any type of meat, whatever type of meat that you want for these grilled burgers. It would be delicious. You could also use a portobello mushroom. So if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, um, well, you'd have to be a vegetarian. You could use a portobello mushroom and just stuff the portobello mushroom with an open cap with the cheese and the figs. It would be delicious. What tastes better? I really like the bison. Um, bison has a... It just has a really delicious meat flavor to me, and I love the way that it grills. So you could do ground pork if you were so, yep, too dry for the grill, and they just fell completely apart. So just so you know, FYI. But I had to try it because you guys were asking me about it. So, <laughs> so what I'm looking for, let me turn you just a little bit. What I'm looking for when I'm grilling, and let me turn you down just a little bit. Hey, turn that lady down. What I'm looking for when I'm grilling a burger like this is I'm looking for the meat to change colors from the bottom up, okay? So I'm looking for it to actually change colors from the bottom up, and this is much easier to see like on chicken and fish, and it's a little bit harder to see on, uh, on a red meat like this, but I'm looking for it to change colors from the bottom up, signifying that that bottom piece of meat has actually been cooked through before I flip it. And so, a nice low medium heat right a nice medium heat and not a super high heat will really be your best friend yeah it will really really be your best friend in this situation so yeah and don't press it thank you so much for saying that Donnell <laughs> don't don't take your spatula and press down on your on your burger you're, it loses all of its juices. You're pressing all the juices out of the burger. Hello, don't do that. <laughs> it's like burger 101, right? You get all flip happy in here. It's true, it's true, so yeah. <laughs> thank you, by the way, all of you that are joining uh, here. If you're watching in replay, thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. I'm just gonna tilt you up just a little bit again. It's a pleasure to have you um, here. If you're watching on the Valley Fig page and you're watching in replay, thank you so much. Please check out their website, valleyfig.com. If you're watching here on Periscope, go check out valleyfig.com <laughs> because you can get these amazing figs. You don't have to like go hunting them down. You can buy them at the grocery store too, but you could buy them in bulk. Just buy a whole bunch of them, right? <laughs> From our Valley Pig. 
And by the way, thank you, Valley Fig, for your sponsorship today. We appreciate it. Don't, right? Tell the hubby, don't press the burgers. You're losing all. If you want a juicy burger, thank you for the super hearts. I appreciate that. If you want a juicy burger, then you will totally not press the burger down. So we're about ready to flip. I can see that the meat is changing colors up along the edges. And so I'm just paying attention to that because we don't want it to burn either, right? <laughs> Go fig happy and not flip happy. We don't want the burger to, um, to be burnt either. So we wanna be super careful about that. So never leave your grill. <laughs> I never leave my grill when I'm grilling. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Perfection. You see that? Can you see it? No, you can't see it. Oh my gosh. They are like perfection. I should be making you hungry. I'm making me hungry. <laughs> when you flip them, you get in the smoke, in the air, you get this really great smell of figs because some of the juice is actually kind of running out of the figs. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so good right now. So as I flip them, I'm actually, I almost forgot. Uh, we're actually going to put our onions on the grill. I'm just gonna lay those. I like to try to lay them cut side down. If you can, lay them cut side down. It's okay if you can't. I gotcha. Just to grill up, just to char up some of those onions. They're so delicious with this burger, right? Yes, don't overcook your bison burger. It will be super tough. So it's bison to me is best when it has just a little bit of pink inside. You want just a little paint, bit of pink. Don't undercook it either, but don't overcook it because it'll be incredibly tough. So yeah, so you just want to pay attention to that. I'm going to get my plate up. We're going to start making or prepping our burger. So I'm just using some butter lettuce here. Um, we're just going to use some butter lettuce. It's actually been out in the heat here a little bit, so it's a little bit like, hmm. It's okay. I use gorgonzola and it's stuffed inside of the burger. Can you believe it? <laughs> believe it because it's true. <laughs> but stop in time. I love that, Cody. I'm just going to put some of my bread and butter pickles out here. Um, one burger for me is a serving. Oh, look at that. Look at, there's like these super, I know I'm using my fingers, but there it's my pickles. Uh, these super yummy onions that are in these bread and butter pickles. Oh man, if you guys have not checked out the Fort Collins Pickle Company, you need to check it out. They are so delicious, these pickles. I'm gonna put a few of our little tomatoes just right over here on the side. It's a burger building opportunity here. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. That's okay, I'll show you. It's a burger building opportunity. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. No buns today. You could totally use buns if you wanted to. We're going bunless today. <laughs> Those tomatoes are delicious. OMG, they're so delicious. You, I got them at Whole Foods and they come on the vine. You get these little cherry tomatoes on the vine and they're so yummy. Yeah, look how red they are. Oh, and our burgers are just gonna get plopped right on top. Yes, caramelized onions. So good. Just want to give them a little bit of a flip now and again. And those are going to just go right on the side. You can just cut them up and eat them with your burger. Oh, you should see. You can, okay, I'm taking you off your stand. Look it. They are so sweet. Oh my gosh, look. People off their stand, I'll take you off. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to make my phone light go dead because it's too hot near the grill. Oh my goodness, those are so good, those, right, total drool worthy, I know, I know, I'm going to show you guys here on, on, uh, on, on Facebook, look at this, it's like some, it's real time grill in action, look at that, now that is gorgeous, oh, you see the little fig, like the little fig popping out right there? Oh my goodness, these are gonna be so good. So, so good. Love me some burgers, right? I know, the cheese is oozing out. It's so delicious. <laughs> so these are gonna be done in just a second. In just a second. Get those time to clean off my spatula a little bit. I just see a little piece of 
I don't want raw meat on my burger, so <laughs> I know. <laughs> Absolutely delicious, right? Uh, you'll be making these. You go <laughs> you're Googling gorgonzola. It's like a blue cheese. I'll show you the container. You don't have to Google it. This is what I use today, right? Yeah, this is what I use today. <laughs> Burger builder extraordinaire. That's right. Yeah. Save the burgers. Yeah, so this, I got this at Whole Foods, um, and it is, it's like a blue cheese. It's really, really good. If you like blue cheese, you'll love gorgonzola. Super delicious. Super, super delicious. Yeah, got it. Awesome. Yeah, so very easy. Gorgonzola. <laughs> I love it. Valley Fig is saying, is it Memorial Day weekend yet? Well, it is here. Come on over. Let's have some burgers. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna take our chard. They're a little limp, which is exactly what I want. That's just gonna top our right over here on the side. Don't pick that off the grill, Leslie, because I burn my fingers doing stuff like that all the time. Use grill safety. <laughs> grill safety 101. Don't pick things off the off the grill by with your hands. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at you gotta see this. Look at Look at, oh, let me turn it. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put that right there and leave it because I just dropped a huge piece of, you have to see this, hold on. You have to see this, this is hilarious. Look at, look at right here. Can you see that? Can you see that? <laughs> I just had a big blop of cheese like fully drop out of the burger and right there. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I know, total hamburger abuse. I kind of agree with you. And people abuse because, hello. All right, I'm gonna turn off my grill. So I'm gonna turn it off and leave that open. So here is what we end up with. Oh, it's like a little smiley. Oh, look at his little eyes. He's got, it's burger, it's burger smiley face. <laughs> Plate. <laughs> right, put it back in, I know, totally. Look, he's got little hair. You got little hair up here. <laughs> And you got the little, right? It's a little burger man. And you got the little mouth. Look at that. Can you see that? That's so funny. I did not plan that, by the way. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's a, here, I'll turn it this way. <laughs> I did not plan it that way. So here's the other cool thing that I'm using today that you guys should know about. These are, and it's great for Memorial Day weekend, these are bamboo disposable plates. They're not made from paper. They're made from bamboo, which is a very renewable source. And they're made from bamboo and you can use them throughout the day. Um, you can actually give them a quick rinse um, if it's not something super mushy like burgers, like this would be perfect. You can rinse them off and use them throughout the day um, for your whole day's festivities, and they're totally recyclable. So love, 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 right? Love, love, love. So yep, they're totally recyclable. Love them. They're made by um, B-A-M-B-U, compostable, compostable, um, yeah, so, and compostable. So yeah, for those of you that compost. Love that, love that little added. So we have done our burgers today. I'm just gonna top these with a little more gorgonzola, just a slight bit, just a little impression, just to let people know that maybe there's something yummy inside, right? Just a little bit right on top of that. And I'm just gonna add a little fig. Maybe this is a good way to delineate like which burgers are which, right? So these are the fig stuffed burgers if you're making different kinds. These are the fig stuffed and gorgonzola. So it'd be a great way, it'd be a great way to show people um, what's inside the burger. They're, they're only reusable just for a couple of times. So, and I did not bring a fork out. <laughs> I cannot believe it, but I did not bring a fork out to taste this. And I don't think that my husband can hear me. Um, so, hmm, right? <laughs> Look at that. I know, I totally did not bring a fork out. We can still take a bite, okay? We can still take a bite. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull off like a little corner here with my fingers. You don't have to watch me do it. Yeah, oh, I want some of that gorgonzola cheese though. We're in a fig. Hold on, well, here we go. Mmm, <laughs> oh my gosh. Bison is so delicious. You get, oh, you get that little sweet, big with that like that 
fresh gorgonzola, like gorgonzola tastes like fresh cheese, like just made. It is so delicious. Oh my goodness. I know. I just totally ate it like a dog. See? Mm, salty, garlicky, a little bit of heat, but not a lot. So, so yummy. Hold on. We'll just, let's just like kind of break one open. Let's just have a look inside of one of them. Cause I think that that is worthy. Look at that. Look inside that baby. Oh my goodness. Can you see that? with the cheese and the figs and the whole whatever, whatever. I know, totally hands on pork. I probably eat with my hands more than I care to admit, quite frankly. Can you see that? Look at that cheese in there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so yummy. Oh, wow, what a day here at the grill. Okay guys. Thank you so much for joining us here on Valley Fig. It was such a pleasure to be with you here today at The Grill. This recipe will be up on my website at GoTo Kitchen, so please go check it out. G-O, the number two kitchens. It's right here on my apron. G-O, and I've tagged myself actually <laughs> in, the, in the title. So go follow us on social media at GoTo Kitchens and make sure that you check out our recipe for these stuffed burgers. You are going to want to make them this weekend. So thank you guys for joining us here on Valley Fig. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you again with amazing recipes. Valley Fig has some of the best fig recipes on the planet, and they're so delicious. So go check it out, valleyfig.com, go2kitchens.com. Thank you guys for being here today. Have a great afternoon. Bye. Okay, sorry, I wanted to end that Facebook Live um, so we don't like waste a whole bunch of their time. Does anybody have any questions here on Periscope? We're still here on Periscope, right? Drop the burger and step away from the grill. Okay, <laughs> right? You have to try this combo. It's so delicious. Oh, it's so funny, Terry, for you that you asked that because tomorrow on Lunch with Leslie, I'm going to teach you how to make these little cinnamon sugar roll ups. They are so easy and so delicious, and they're perfect for the holiday weekend. You can make a ton of them very fast, and they're a great little, like, little snacky amazingness. And so we will make those tomorrow. So come check it out on Lunch with Leslie. They're kind of like a they're kind of like a wrapped up apple pie. I'm not even kidding right now. <laughs> Join me tomorrow. We're in the kitchen all three days this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Well, I'm not in the kitchen. I'm by the grill. But I will be back uh, tomorrow on, yeah, we're using cinnamon tomorrow. So come check it out. Yes, come check it out tomorrow on Lunch with Leslie. You're not going to want to miss it. And then on Thursday, we are making an eggless, uh, not an eggless, sorry. We're making a mayo, a no mayo egg salad. You can't make an eggless egg salad. <laughs> I'm, I'm making a no mayo egg salad that you could put alongside your burgers, right? You could put it alongside your stuffed burgers. Perfect Memorial Day weekend. I got you hooked up this week. Make sure that you join us here <laughs> on Lunch with Leslie, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at noon Mountain Time. Thank you. I will enjoy my lunch today. Thank you for that. I appreciate it so very much. Let me just show you one more time. I'm just going to go ahead and full on break it apart because look at that. Look at that baby. Oh, I'm taking a bite now because I don't have a fork and anyway, right? Mmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. The figs. The figs. And the gorgonzola. Is and the and the bison. Such an amazing combination. You're gonna love me for this recipe. You're gonna love me forever. Here's Cody's foot stomp. You can't hear it because it's I'm on bricks, but <laughs> it's really, really good. Wow. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> it's gonna be so good with my pickles and my and my tomatoes and my onions all wrapped up in that little lettuce. Oh, it's so good, right? There you go. That's what we made today. Beautiful burgers. Make sure you're following me on Periscope, <laughs> on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, everything at GoToKitchens, just like my username. Please check out the website while you're there as well. Thank you, <laughs> right? I know. I have a neighbor dancing in the field. Yeah, because they're all like, where are the burgers, lady? Uh, <laughs> 
Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to Valley Fig. Thank you to Periscope for the feature day today. We certainly appreciate it. You guys have a great afternoon. I'll see you tomorrow at noon Mountain Time for Lunch with Leslie. Bye, everybody. See ya.